now we take a deep dive into the ORN architecture and the first entity that we are going to discuss it is the service management and orchestration it is also known as the SMO now we know that these entities are virtualized on the O cloud the SMO is an intelligent automation platform that is used in order to manage these entities on the cloud SMO is involved in the automation and the life cycle management of these entities the SMO has O1 interface with these entities and this O1 interface sports the FCAPS operation now the FCAPS is an abbreviation of five words first we have F which stands for the fault detection and correction that means that the SMO uses O1 interface to detect and correct the faults in these entities then we have C C stands for configuration and operation that means that the SMO uses the O1 interface in order to configure and operate these entities and the accounting and the billing of these entities is also handled by the SMO using this O1 interface and also the key performance indicators of these ORN entities are collected via the O1 interface uh, and then they are assessed by the SMO and the security assurance and the protection of these entities is also ensured by the SMO using the O1 interface now in order to manage the O cloud itself the SMO uses the O2 interface in order to manage the O cloud and the SMO also has the database and this database is used to collect information for example here you have a UAV and this UAV is provided coverage by this base station now the flight path of this UAV is in this external database now the SMO may collect information from this external database and store in its database now the information that is collected from the external server in this manner it is called as the enrichment information similarly the key performance indicators of these entities these key performance indicators are also collected by the SMO and stored in the database. Now, the SMO may also have an artificial intelligence or machine learning based framework in order to run the analytics on these KPIs. Now, here it is important to precise that this AI ML framework may be a part of the SMO or it may be a part of the non real time rake or it may be a part of the both it depends upon the deployment and then you have the open front hall management plane interface and this interface is used by the SMO in order to manage the open front hall between the ORU and the ODU 